Hello, my channel. Yes, I'm here once again. This is Mommy APJ. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much as you do. Today, guys, is a collaboration video with a sister. Her name is Simply Summy. I'm going to be leaving our channel, the link to our channel, under the description section. So do where to check her out, our channel to see our own answers to the questions. Okay. So without wasting time, let's get right into the video. I'm so excited to to answer this question okay the question is about single versus married life tag so what do you love most about being married i have free blankets no more night cold like i have free blankets to cover myself at night i'm just kidding guys anyway it's a mug it's a mug really is a mug free blanket is a mug one thing I really love being married is that uh, I have someone to talk to. I have teammates, not only my husband, he's also my father. He's, he's also my friend. I have my friend there to talk to whenever I want. I have someone who always got my back, who is always there to correct me when I'm going wrong. When I'm doing things that I'm not supposed to do, he always caution me. So it's a see, I have my team partner with me. So I, I love that part of our marriage. I love that, that part of our marriage because we are we are just like a team. We we'll work together to, to make sure things are really good. So I love being married. What do you miss about being single? I miss, <laughs> if I want to answer that question, I need to be sincere. I miss my ship. I miss my ship because when I was single, I was so skinny. I was so skinny and zealousy. <laughs> now, Buffy, if I can go back to my, to my ship, you know, then when babies to flood, they are flat, they are six pack. Now, I don't have six pack. I just have one pack combined together. <laughs> No, really, guys, I'm serious. That's the part I miss the most being single. Like, before I got married, start having kids, I was very, very slim and skinny. I love it so much. So, after four kids, I'm now just, I can't say fat. My husband said that he stopped saying fat, that I'm not fat. But I, I don't really like, I like skinny. You, like, you understand now? Those just, you can fit in anything easily. You understand so i really miss that part a lot being single and i miss like ask whenever you like you can come in whenever you like you don't need to be rushing oh i need to go home to go and make food for my husband i need to go home to go and make food for my babies i need to do this i need to i can sleep whenever i like wake up whenever i like the married woman there are things you can no longer do like going out whenever you like when you're supposed to prepare dinner for the family you just fly out you can't do that anymore so how do you define your relationship with friends now that you are married? Huh? You have your family that are your priority now. Those are your main, main priority before friends. You understand? So you can longer be like, if you're that kind of person that love clubbing with friends, you love going out with friends, so you can stay on call for one hour three hours with friends but as a married woman you can no longer do that you have to make your friends understand if you have a friends that understand they will know that yes you are married now you're no longer that single girl you used to be so definitely things will change with friends it will definitely change going out together often as before it can be maybe you, you are that kind of person that do hook up with your friends every day every day 
maybe it's not reduced to every once in a week it's something understandable as a married woman so definitely your my relationship with my friends changed when i got married my relationship with my friends changed though i don't really have friends my husband is my friend my husband is my friend <laughs> so let's go to the next question what memory is fresh as a single lady oh you push your own remind me that thing again <laughs> the memory that is don't worry guys i'm going to try to see if i can put up the picture of when i was a babe like when i was single <laughs> that memory is still fresh the way i used to flaunt my sister that memory is still there that memory can never live it can never receive very fresh like my ship <laughs> i know some people say this one yes i that memory is still very fresh that is the only memory i can really really say i'm still like i can't get away with it it's still coming and coming every time it's a fresh memory my figure my ship yes that's a fresh memory next what do you dislike about being married I don't really have much thing I dislike. The, the, the most thing is that that, uh, that freedom you have as a single lady is no longer there. The truth is that sometimes you feel it. You feel it because when my husband is coming from work, I need to start preparing things that he's going to eat. If I'm a single lady, I, would, I don't have to think about that. You understand? So I can't really say dislike. Dislike is something that you don't really really like It's not that I really dislike it, but there are, there are some times you just feel like oh It's normal. So I can't say there are some things I really dislike about being married mm, No It has not gotten to that point of disliking things You understand? I don't want my husband to follow me to YouTube. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't dislike it. I love everything <laughs> Okay, let's go. If you could change anything about being single, what would it be? Yeah, the, the thing I would change is uh, the way people underrate single ladies. The way people underrate single ladies. Single ladies is not respected. Do you know why I said so? Because somehow I felt this thing last year. I was not single last year. Last year, I was all alone by myself in Italy with my kids. My husband was not there. So most people don't really know that I was married. So the way people talk to you when you're single is different the way people talk to you when you're married. Though I believe that respect is not about being single or being married. When you have respect, like a home training, when you have respect for a married woman, you are you ought to have respect also for a, mar a single lady as well. But some people, they don't really have respect for single lady, which is not really, really good. Change things. That would be the first thing I would change about. You don't have to look down on any lady because the lady is single or the lady is not married yet. Everybody has their own reason. Okay? You, you're married, I'm not married. That does not mean that you're better than me or I'm better than you. We are all human. We are all created by God. Whether single or married, we are to be respected equally in the society. People easily classify single ladies like a cheap, maybe you're being seen with a guy. The first thing that will come into their mind, it don't do. Your single ladies are also human. They have blood in their vein running in their vein you should learn how to respect everyone being single being married we are all human the next question is what do you dislike about being single what i really dislike about being single is uh the way people talk to me then because i'm no longer single so the way the way people talk to you I can't say people, the way men approach you, I really dislike it. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> no, really, jokes apart. I don't like the way people talk to you. 
the way people treat you because you are single so that's one thing i hate about being single i don't like the way people the way people talk to me or the way people treat me married life stop your dream or aspiration the gospel truth is 50 percent yes why did i say that yes because when I was kind of uh, young, especially when I just came to Europe, I wanted to be a mother. <laughs> you see why that my figure they pay me. <laughs> I wanted to be a model, like I wanted to be a model, even uh, before I got pregnant with my first daughter. Then I went for like interview in Milan then. But they didn't call me. They didn't call me. But when, when they called me, it was already late. And I was pregnant with my, my daughter already. My, my first daughter, which is Annabelle. So I was already pregnant when they called me that I should come. That the, they saw my pictures and they would love to, to put me on a trial then. And I was pregnant. So I pleaded with my husband, I want to go. I want to go. My husband said, okay, I'm going to go out here. So I went to Milan. Then I went for the interview. They interviewed me then. Though I was far gone. My pregnancy was still very heated. So I just have to tell them that I was pregnant. Ah, the woman was even kind of happy. Yeah, of course. We can even use it for a photo shoot for a pregnant woman and all that. So I asked them, what is the photo shoot going to look like? I need to wear like... I need to put on nightwear. <laughs> I caught my husband. My husband said I should be using my head to come home, not my leg. <laughs> I can never forget that. My husband said, no, 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 no. I should be using my, <laughs> my head to run back to Parma because I went for the interview then in Milan. My husband was just like, use your head till they come back to Parma. Am I picking you are exposed to the world? I mean, am I body you? <laughs> I was so so and when I was waiting for this thing, they didn't call me then I was still very very much single till when I got ah, I was so angry then but nevertheless some of the things I wanted to achieve I'm still achieving them now that was one of my biggest thing I wanted to do I wanted to be a model <laughs> when I came to this country I wanted to be a model but along the line model i know I, I, though i'm still modeling for my husband though. <laughs> i'm still modeling for my husband but some yeah some aspiration was cut off but not all i'm still achieving all now with the help of my husband i'm still achieving some so next question how can you compare cooking life being single versus married life my sister, let me show you one. This one is one proof that cooking life of a married woman is not easy. Look at my nails. I'm that kind of person that I love my natural nails. This is an alley to curry me. The rest don't break. These nails will grow. Water will break it. I need to cook. Like cooking. And I'm that kind of person. I don't like cooking. Ah. I know if my mother, if my sister-in-law watch this video, now she will be disappointed. Sister, I beg, no verse. I don't like to the cook, which your brother know very, very well. Your brother know. Your brother know. In fact, it's your brother self that taught me how to cook. He's, I don't know how to cook when I enter the house. That one, I'm not hiding it. Though. Everybody know. My husband taught me how to cook, but I don't like cooking. I don't, I don't just like kitchen. Now I know how to cook very well, like perfect. I cook more than my husband, I can testify. But I don't just like cooking. I like if you say we should compare married single, my sister, I prefer that single life cooking style. Eat fast food and everybody rests. I, I don't like cooking. And my husband is that kind of man that is very, very selective. If you eat a bono for afternoon, why eat uh, another thing in the evening? He's like that. So, my sister, cooking life, mm, it's not easy. You are gone. Every 30 minutes kitchen, every 30 minutes kitchen preparing food, 
prepare my husband would just sit down uh -huh. just garnish some kind things for me to just they pick it <laughs> i know if you watch this video you say i say yes he knows very well i don't like kitchen yeah i don't like my sister there's a big changes dressing up as a single versus married woman ah when i was single hmm, me i like to naked waka hey he, my spiritual mother used to watch my video she would be, ah, she would be very very disappointed mommy sorry it's the truth now i don't need to lie it's just that i should always be saying the truth so i can go to heaven mommy i don't need to lie when i was single I love to the naked work. I cannot be even wear clothes. Just the I will wear because I oh my shape again. Yeah, come back that shape. Yeah, come back that shape. You see that that memory has not ah. This is only the memory. My shape. Then I was skinny, selfie. I was straight. Ah. I both say me will even cover our body. Me go put just the water. <laughs> When I remember the first time I, 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 I came to visit my husband, he can testify what I was wearing was just singlet. <laughs> you don't singlet, see me through. I'll, uh, I can't cut that one, he cut that one out, but, but now I can't. Even if, not that my husband is against me dressing uh, the way I want or only what he don't like for you to expose, you know, expose your body as a married woman. You are not to expose your body that much. But you can slay, like, slay very well. My husband loves dressing. He don't love makeup. But he wants you to dress good. Dress good does not mean you go and expose your body sharp. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. But not that he's restricting me. Of, but I don't know. I can't dress like that anymore. I don't see myself dressing like that. Even if there are some things I will wear, I will be seeing myself as if I'm naked. But there was one time I said to myself, you are wearing really things worse than this before. So what happened to you? I don't know. My dressing life has totally changed. My dressing life has completely changed. Now I can't just do anything I like and go to the street like that. No, I don't do that anymore. I don't do that. My dressing life has changed. Thank you so much for watching. This was the last question. Hope you guys enjoyed those questions. I'm going to be leaving uh, the link to Sumi's channel under the description box. Please do where well to check out our channel. And also, I am nominating Lolo Inkechi, my very own sister. I want to see your answer to this question. So I'm nominating you for this question. So watch out for Lolo Inkechi as well. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.